What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Transport Fever Los Santos. And I've started it here because we've got a nice new locomotive, it just went off the top of the screen. So I'll have a quick look at that and then i got some big news for you regarding the game. So let me just have a look at this train, see what it is. It is the 4122 Class 9000. Uh, these locomotives were fairly successful but maintenance nightmares because of their third cylinder driving the crank, second driving axle between the frames. Okay. Uh, lifespan 35 years. Tractive efforts, alright, a lot of horsepower. Top speed 60 miles per hour. So that seems like a multi purpose train, like you could use it for freight and passengers. In the last episode, I didn't really show you, but we also got this, the M300, which is a passenger train, but I'm pretty sure it's like a self-propelled car, where it's just like, it's just one car which can propel itself. It can go 62 miles an hour and has a capacity of 13, so that might be quite cool to use at some point. Another important change, which I didn't notice until after I stopped recording the last episode, was we got all the modern stuff now, so we got the modern high speed track, I think I did mention that. We also got the modern signals, what is that? Uh, some German signals, I didn't even know that was there. There's also uh, waypoints, these are a mod where you can put in viaducts with pillars, that's quite a cool thing. We also got the updated road systems, which, is, uh, which include the extra large street. So that will be cool to use at some point. And I'm pretty sure that's just about it. So, what's the input what's the big news? Well, in the last episode we put in this hub, and I was looking at it afterwards afterwards, and it's cool but it's not perfect. And the position of it isn't the best. So we're gonna move that and we're gonna have a massive central hub here. Or somewhere in this area, probably about here where the Sandy Shores airfield is in the real game. And everything, and I mean everything, is going to get fed into there and then distributed outwards. And I think that might be cool, but one thing is that it's pretty, it's, it's centralised but not really. Like, if you think about how big Sandy Sh uh, Los Santos is and the towns around it, most of the population in the map is down here. So I'm also going to put in a secondary hub somewhere down here. I may use this one, but I'll probably reposition that. I don't know yet. And then that's going to be used as like a secondary distrib distribution center. So this is going to take a long time. It's going to take a while. It's going to be very technical. There's a lot of stuff i got to do. So... I'm thinking the best way to do this would be with a massive time lapse. We got 33 and basically 34 million dollars. So I'm going to guess that I'm going to leave it running for as much of the time as I can to build up as much money as I can. But there's not really much left to say other than cue the time lapse.
Okay guys, so this isn't finished yet and there's a few good reasons for that. First of all, I know some of you, well quite a lot of people, don't like time lapses that much. I personally really like them, but I know a lot of people don't, so I'm not going to time lapse the entire thing because that would be like an hour long time lapse. And also, I'm kind of out of time because I've got to go work in a minute and I've got to have a bath before I go to work or a shower or something. But let me just talk you through it quick. So, this is the main hub here. And this is where everything, and I mean everything pretty much, is going to get shipped to. And then it's going to get taken by truck to Sandy Shores, if it needs to go there. And this way, we go, we're going to have six tracks at least. And I've put four in so far. These two on this side are going to curve round and go to Chumash. And they're going to drop off what they need to and etc, etc. The second two there that I've put in, they're going to curve round and they're going to join on to the passenger line here and go to North Chumash. We're also going to have another two tracks which I haven't put in yet. I must say I really like this really high bridge by here. But they are going to go over here to this farm. On the other side of the main hub, we got this... <laughs> Engineering marvel, I would like to describe it as, because all these bridges and this complicated junction, I really like it, and it's not even complete yet. But these tracks go north here, this nor most northerly bridge. They are going to go up to Polito Bay, and because Polito Bay is such a big player in all this, it's got like six tracks. There's a lot of stuff going to Polito Bay. We're also going to have stuff going to Grapeseed. I haven't quite figured that one out yet. I'm probably going to put in its own track. And then we got these tracks here. These are going down south and they go into the city and they curve off here, go through this rather nice tunnel I reckon. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think that's quite a cool tunnel, the way the track splits off and ducks under the hill next to these lines. I think that's pretty cool. And they go to this main hub here, where everything's going to get distributed by mainly truck to the city. I might have a separate line put in to go to Elysian Island yet, I don't know. As I said, I haven't thought everything through. And one thing is important to bear in mind, a lot of the existing tracks, such as this one going through Cypress Flats, they're going to get knocked down, they're going to just completely disappear. Because we won't need them anymore. We also have this rather elevated section of track. I do like that. I really like that. That is going over here through this mountain. Oh, my game's frozen. And this, uh, that is going to go to this stone mine here. And I have, as I said, I haven't finished it yet, but there's a lot of tracks going to different places. They will be, as even more. And we're going to have some going to farms, some going to cities, some going to quarries. Basically everything's going to come here to get shipped out, processed, brought back, shipped around. At least that's the plan anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to complete the rest of it offline. Now I've showed you the basic principle and after I've done that I will walk you through everything. I'll show you buying, I'll show me at least buying some of the vehicles. And I think this is going to be awesome. I do like this distribution hub down here as well. The Polito Bay one. Because this one, the problem was, it was too coast, coast, too close to the coastline to realistically put in as many tracks as I needed. So that's going to go. These tracks going over here going to go. Everything's going to go pretty much. I do think that Grapeseed needs its own line though. I think that probably would be a smart idea. I don't know, trucks going over there. The, the, this will be up in the thousands like it is now, if not higher. So that's going to be an issue if we try to use trucks. But anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. I know it's been a short one and most of it, if not all of it, pretty much has been time lapsed. But as I said, I'll complete the rest offline because I know not everyone likes time lapses. So I'm going to go to work now and I will see you next time. Peace out guys.